Hey guys, this is Marie, and I'm back with another video, and this video is going to be hermit crabs and surface molting. So let's get started. So in this video, I will be showing you and talking to you a little bit about hermit crabs and surface molting, and what you should do if this happens to you. So here we go. So as you guys know, all hermit crabs go through the process called molting. Now when a hermit crab is ready to molt, they will dig down under the substrate, de-stress, and then go through their process called molting. When they are finished and ready, they will come back up. Now all hermit crabs are different. It depends on the size of the hermit crab. The small hermit crabs can take between three to about a month to come back up. And medium hermit crabs to large hermit crabs can take up to two to three months. Now my Ecuadorian hermit crab named Mickey right here, he took uh, two molts with me so far and completely finished both of them and he did do a uh, underground molt so he did a wonderful job now he's about a medium sized hermit crab so the first molt he done with me was about a month and seven days and then he just finished his second molt with me and he took about a month on this one so he did a pretty good job and I'm very happy and glad that he is safe and completely finished and very happy and healthy and he's just doing wonderful and he has wonderful coloring this time so he did a great job and I'm very happy for him now every once in a while you will get that one hermit crab that does not get the chance to dig down under the substrate and they will do a called surface molting now if you ever come across of a hermit crab doing a surface molting and you get very excited and you're not sure what to do, I'm going to help you through the process of what you should do if this happens to you in an emergency. Now, this is just a plain shell that there's no hermit crab in there, so I'm just going to show you uh, what to do if this was a hermit crab molting. Now say you come into the room where your hermit crab tank is, you turn the light on and you just happen to see your hermit crab right here, and you notice that they're doing a surface molt. Now what should you do? The very first thing you should do is just check on the hermit crab, don't touch it, just to make sure it is molting and it is alive. Once you finish that, the next thing you need to do is find something to cover the hermit crab so all the other hermit crabs does not mess with the hermit crab. Now there's a couple things that you can use. The very first thing you can use if you have in your house a empty two liter bottle like a soda bottle you can cut the thing in half and then take the top of it and put it over the shell just like this and that will save um, the hermit crab for any other hermit crabs to try to mess with that hermit crab while he or she is molting now if you don't have a two liter bottle around your house and you do maybe have a container you can also use those now I have two containers that I could use since I don't have soda bottles the first container is this one right here, and this is just a plain uh, plastic cup that my baited fish came in, and I have plenty of these, so if this ever happens to me, I can use this if I need to. Now the other container you can use is this one. These uh, come from PetSmart, and this is one of the ones that I got when I got one of my hermit crabs a long time ago from PetSmart. Now I would probably say you can either use any of these, it does not matter. But since this one is clear and you can see through it, it might stress your hermit crab just a little bit more than using this container that is completely a little bit more darker for your hermit crab, just to make sure your hermit crab is safe and does not get stressed out with any kind of light. Now what you would do is you would find your container, you would take your container slowly, uh, tip it over, and put it over your hermit crab. Now once you do that, you'll just push it down just a little bit and then leave it alone and do not bother it at all. I would keep your hermit crab covered for at least three weeks to about a month just to let that hermit crab finish doing him or hers molting. Now I don't know how long it would take for your hermit crab to do it. It depends on the size of your hermit crab. But I would go ahead and just check out other videos just to see what the size of your hermit crab is and maybe get that idea of when you think your hermit crab will finish. Now after, I would say after about five weeks, you could probably lift up the container very slowly 
and just take a little peek to see what the hermit crab is doing and to make sure he or she is still alive. And if he, he or she is still kind of in the process of molting and not finished yet, then just put the container back over your hermit crab and leave your hermit crab, just let it be, leave your hermit crab alone and just don't bother it at all. And now this will keep your hermit crab very safe because all your other hermit crabs can just walk around or climb over the container, but your hermit crab will not bother the hermit crab that is molting. So that is a safe way for you to keep your hermit crab safe until he or she is finished doing the surface molt. Now that is what a surface molt is. Now the reason why I wanted to do this video is because I had had two hermit crabs in the past do a surface molt. The very first hermit crab I had was named Max. I think that was his name. Um, I used to have one of those... Um, logs that you were able to let the hermit crab climb through and then it had like two little holes on each side and I did have like that stuff called moss inside of it to keep the humidity in and my hermit crabs absolutely loved that log and always slept inside of that. Now one day I was cleaning out their hermit crab tank and I noticed um there was only one hermit crab in there and at first I thought he was dead but I realized that he was actually doing a surface molt. So I, it was hard for me to take him out of the log. I did not want to mess with him. So I ended up just finding something to put him in and just left him alone that way. Now that was the hardest thing I ever had to do because that was my very first time ever having a hermit crab do a service mode ever with me. Now since I did have that experience of a hermit crab doing a service mode, um, probably about a month ago, I did have another hermit crab do a surface molt, and her name was Hazelnut, and she was my other Ecuadorian hermit crab. And she actually did a surface molt over here in the corner. I just happened to turn on the light, and I thought at first she was just tipped over, and then I realized that she actually was almost completely finished doing a molt. And so I had to figure out what was going to happen and what I had to do because she was stuck over here in this corner. So it's kind of hard to put a container right here to cover her up. So what I did was I just moved all the shells out of the way and stuck a cup right here and left her be to make sure all the other hermit crabs did not bother her. Now down the road, um, I gave her about five weeks to a month to finish. And unfortunately she did not make it and she did pass away. So I'm very sad about that, but that is one of the um, experiences I did have of two experiences that I did have with surface molds. So if this ever happens to you, these are a couple of things that you can do to help your hermit crab and make sure he or she has a safe and successful surface molt. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!